Hey guys, it's B. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna be renovating this poor little house in Oasis Springs. This is the Vista Quarry. This is generally a two-bedroom house with a little office space, a living room, a bathroom that actually looks pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie, and a kitchen area. But yeah, so usually when I revamp houses, I usually don't go with the shape that we already have. I actually tend to bulldoze a house, but we're gonna try and not do that this time. I really want to try and turn this house into a more Mediterranean style home and that is why I took away the roof at the top here. So I just want to see something quickly. Can we maybe create a double story? You know, do something like that. Maybe bring this roof to here. And this little spot that's open over here, I think. I don't know if I should cover it up with a room. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. So far it looks good, but I think we could do something else there. I'm going to take away these obnoxiously thick freaking pillars i do not like them they are a little bit bombastic i wonder if we're gonna go with the exact same color that this house originally has yeah i don't think the same color but maybe just a different swatch in the sliding um where is that specific one now now the thing is if we want to go mediterranean i don't think we are gonna use the exact same wallpaper anymore i think we're gonna go in for something that's actually you know mediterranean like this maybe Maybe. If we're gonna go Mediterranean, I think I'm gonna break open, or well not break open that wall, but I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna do that. Get a lovely archway going. We can use this archway from the Riviera retreat kit maybe to do this effect over here. Oh, I kind of like it. Well, firstly, most of these things are gonna go. I feel like keeping the bathroom. I don't know, maybe just replace the toilet with a better quality one. And yeah, I'm obviously gonna do other stuff to this house but yeah i'm gonna try and revamp this house without bulldozing the house because yeah like i said before i tend to bulldoze shit a lot and just rebuild everything but let's see if i can make do with what we already have for once you know it might look a little bit like a coliseum when i'm done with it <laughs> hopefully not but i just want to accentuate the mediterranean look of these kinds of bolts in general i also think this house is not gonna be the price of a starter home as soon as i'm done with it either but yeah i think so far so good you know maybe this is a little bit too overbearing maybe we should not do that to the bottom floor but we could maybe use some different windows down there we could actually turn this into a little balcony i mean that that can happen does this look weird is it a little bit too high you know that thick ass column that i don't like i think i'm might use that again but in a different colorway maybe i don't know okay okay wait maybe we can roll with this this roof in the first place if it's gonna be mediterranean it should look mediterranean ish i mean the name of the roof is even called mediterranean magic love it we can go in for a roof like this bring it down a little bit we could make this house a little smaller on the side i know this this is gonna mess up our bathroom and everything you know what it's fine we can just make our own bathroom i'm gonna slice off this whole part on the side here and you know what maybe slice it down two blocks on this side as well okay you know what i have a different plan with this thing up here take these arches away and then i'm actually gonna extend this and extend it at the bottom as well like that i know it kind of looks cray cray at the moment but trust the process gonna use this roof bring it down a little bit drag it into this roof and do something like that okay this house got significantly bigger i feel because we have a top floor now and we still have the interior down here okay the interior down here is a little bit smaller now but it, this is the extra part that we have but i mean the house looks bigger well i mean i think it is bigger than it was i don't know i'm confusing myself i'm actually gonna keep some of the plants on the outside here because yeah i'm not always in the mood to do gardens like i know it's something i enjoy do a lot you know the whole gardening thing placing plants and stuff but i am not always in the mood for it so you know what i'm gonna be a lazy bitch ass and just keep them where they are just do something fancy like i'm doing over here right now not sure what it is i'm doing but i'm doing something now it would have been nice if sims could actually go on to this little balcony area whatever we are supposed to call that now with the arches included i'm not sure we do have some of those open arch 
porch windowy type of stuff but with a fence part attached to it i'm not sure if they are under windows i think they are under windows now these are the ones that i'm looking for but i'm hoping that they have a bigger one like this okay it seems like we only have the single tile one and this i'm freaking blind or something but i don't see them i would have loved to use them instead but yeah let's go with these so the fact that this house is extremely flat at the back is something that i do not like i think i'm gonna implement the same thing that we have at the front at the back here as well i'm also gonna add a little something in the middle of this roof well not in the middle of it per se but somewhere on this roof make a little room there do something like this yeah and it can be a little handmade or self-made roof structure okay so we still have this situation down here i'm gonna get rid of that whatever that monstrosity is i am actually a aware of what that is it's just i don't think we're gonna need it you know i've never really done a mediterranean house as big as this at least you know i don't think this is classified as a big house but you know technically it is a freaking massive ass house if you think about it i don't know if this is a little bit too overbearing for the eyes to handle but i kinda am into this whole what do we call this ancient painless window panel yeah i'm kind of into the ancient painless or what ancient painless window panels i wonder if we can use the same ones up here because i'm not really sure what the hell you're supposed to do with these things give them some of these maybe does it look funny is it too much no it kind of is too much but for some reason it still looks kind of good i feel i know not everything that looks good means it actually is right according to you know the books in terms of building certain styles of homes but you know if i, if I like it i like it so we're obviously gonna have new windows for this house as well not really sure which ones to go for obviously these because these are pretty mediterranean no, but we have bigger ones which are nicer okay we don't want to kill this house with windows how about just like that you know it, it, it feels a little too much like we have this over here we have these open windows at the top and these things it kind of feels full okay you know i think that's the word i'm looking for it feels full a little bit too over full but also not really if you can hear any sounds of grinding in construction it's because i am once again recording while people are doing construction work is it too much it is kind of too much me who loves to place plants everywhere on bolts kind of feels that that is a little bit too much can you believe that i want to have this somewhere all right we're getting smarter by the day use these plants lift up a few of these yeah all right Right, I kind of like that idea. Okay, so we do have the two tile one, but they are meant for the medium high wall. I don't know if we're gonna do this on medium wall height. Let's see if this works or not. I mean, it is gonna be a little bit more bearable on the eyes in terms of these many, many arches. Are we gonna do it that way? Yeah, you know, I think we are. Bigger ones are much nicer, as if it has a much cleaner design as well. I don't know how to put it, but it, look, it just looks better. What if we just just put a spandrel alongside this thingy up here and maybe give it some bulky pillars as well now no these spandrels are more moroccan but they can still work for this style of house does that look funny it looks a bit weird i think we need a thicker pillar here you know what i don't know if i'm feeling this little roof thingy anymore like should we keep it should we take it off let's maybe try something different with this extend this over into that roof okay take this roof bring it to here here copy and paste it put it on that side and bring it to there and then you can actually maybe walk onto this part over here i have never gotten so fancy and confusing with i think any bolt before honestly now we could curve these roofs which makes it technically safe for the sims to walk up here i don't know if the curved roof is accurate to this building style i don't think it is but honestly who gives a crap at this point ah come on don't be like a dick.
this now. Please don't be like this. Okay, it kind of aligns with the other roofs. What has gotten into me today? Only God will know. No, 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 no. I'm screwing it up. Maybe keep it as it is before you screw up anything else. We can have some crawling vines around this house. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> Honestly, I don't I really don't think this house looks too bad. Oh wait, we have different ones as well. I never saw these from Forent. I didn't know we had different ones. Let's try these ones. Oh, I kind of like them even better. Oh, they're nicer. I'm definitely using those. I was hoping that we would get more of these, a variation of these in the future. And we did. My dumb ass just didn't know about it. Absolutely lovely. Might be a bedroom that's gonna be up here, I think. We can have some of these smaller, less intrusive windows. These are the doors from For Rent, by the way. I just felt like they were pretty much fitting to the building style that we're going for. Alright, let's start figuring out what the heck we're gonna do inside here here. So I think I'm actually screwing things up by taking the walls away. But we're gonna close up this room. Like we're gonna keep this room as a bedroom. Now this room is not gonna be a kid's room anymore. This is gonna be converted to a master bedroom or main bedroom. This I'm gonna take away. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to take these away. I actually kind of want to keep them. Put them in there. And I think this is going to be where our kitchen will be now. This rug, I am going to reuse. Okay, so we can still have a little office space like we had before. I don't want to take the whole office space idea away. This bathroom is a little bit too small. Going to move this door. Bring out the bathroom to be nice and huge. Oh yeah, we have another bedroom over here here that's right maybe for a teenager oh wait these are not cabinets I, I mean counters we're gonna need actual counters for this to function as a kitchen <laughs> i don't know about you but i'm kind of feeling the red counters over here all right and we're gonna have the dining area over here i really wish we had some of these hanging plants in base game as well because you can build a very lovely base game house with you know certain plants being base game as well i'm not gonna use these chairs i'm just gonna use them as placeholders for now. I think these Moroccan chairs really fit into the Mediterranean style. Okay, so I decided that I actually like the yellow kitchen more than the red, or I don't even know what color that was. And I decided to make an accent wall of stone on this side, and on this side I think I'm gonna do the exact same. Yeah, okay, so we have this part stone and this part white. Okay, this is a small part. That's white, but that's okay. We can use the same wallpaper that we used on the exterior maybe for this part. Yeah, I like that very much. I can't believe a simple house transformed into this massive Mediterranean house. <laughs> While I did say I wanted to give it a Mediterranean makeover and leave the majority of the house as it was before, but I obviously did not go with my own plans as I usually do. I always end up doing something way out different. <laughs> But it's okay, you know? So since we do not have the original bathroom, I think I'm gonna use some fancier items to redo the bathroom. I was only planning on replacing the toilet, but we're gonna buy a toilet that is generally better quality than the usual starter home toilet, I suppose. <laughs> now, Telrex is something that usually really helps to fill up space. Random accents like hand wash and some toilet paper. Oh, and we can even have a little toilet for in here as well like why wouldn't we have that okay yeah they are well like the plain swirly whirly rugs they're so pretty yeah it's a little bit full now in this bathroom but you know that was the whole idea all right so we have a yellowish mustardy theme for our living room over here we can have some of these lights they're kind of gorgeous upstairs you know i suppose doesn't need to be a bedroom it could be something else entirely maybe a room for recreation purposes like we can have an easel up here we could maybe have some gym equipment i don't know why but i have never been a fan of this specific stonework like it gives me the idea of someone who barfed against the wall like don't ask me why it just feels and looks like someone barfed against it so this is gonna be one massive recreation room yeah perhaps 
I do not know. You know what we could do? We could almost make this some kind of loft idea. But the thing is, it's gonna mean that we're gonna have to alter our walls on the bottom floor a little bit. But let's see how far we can go with this being a loft of some sort. So we have one wall running here. We can go here. And then perhaps to here. Open it up to no maybe to here yeah there we go take this away no there you go now this is not very big it's because i still want to keep some walking space over here if you're not sure what to do with the space a loft really helps oh my god that I, I don't want that to happen so we're gonna have an office space on the bottom floor that's why i'm not gonna do an office up there but over here all right let's get started with the main bedroom so we're gonna have a blue bed with a light wood frame and some lovely bedside tables i'm just seeing which ones will be best maybe these little ones i love the flower candles like they just look so beautiful i know you don't usually use them in a bedroom i think like maybe not next to your bed but i personally am in love with these flower candles they even look good on top of a pond or a or a fountain like it doesn't matter where just on top of water make them look like they're floating it looks very very nice okay now i kind of fell in love with this green theme over here because of this ottoman's swatch like it has this beautiful flowery swatch and that just gave me the idea that dark green would actually look just as nice as the blue so we're sticking to the green just because of that freaking ottoman over there <laughs> dark green and gold go so well together i swear oh there's even gold on the bed i kind of only now noticed that this whole floor is a rug already but i still feel like i want to put another rug in this bedroom like is it necessary Necessary. No, it's not. But does it look nice? I think so. All right, onto this bedroom over here, which I said could be a teen's bedroom. Now, the last bedroom that I made in a renovated apartment was a bedroom for a teen boy. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do that again because I don't do teen boy rooms too often. I wanna do it more. Okay, so with the bottom floor finished, I feel like we can go over to the exterior. This is the part that I feared most for, honestly, because I. I do not really want to do too much here and I tend to overdo a lot of things when it comes to bolts like these but I'm gonna try and not place too many plants here because I really don't want the plants to take over the whole look and the feel of this house. I really don't know what to do at the back here. I mean, we have a little table over here where Sims, many Sims in fact, can sit around, eat something so I could maybe put a barbecue at the back here. I don't know why, but I put this flower arranging table at the back here because I was thinking about actually maybe using it or the Sims living here could maybe use it to make some extra money on the side if they were to be into the whole gardening thing so over here i was wondering that we could maybe do a pool i was very excited when i watched the new expansion pack trailer of love struck it seems like we're getting rounded pools like that is seriously something that really does excite the living crap out of me like i have been wanting to have round pools for a long time now and i get the feeling that by the time we do have rounded pools i am most probably not gonna use it like i don't know why i'm like that like i wanted to be able to paint ceilings for a long time i never end up really using it you know the same with the curved walls. I've been wanting to have curved walls, but I just never end up using them really <laughs> because it really is a challenge and a half to build with rounded walls. So this house is already 80,888 simoleons. I don't think I'm gonna add any more things in terms of making this house more expensive than it already is. I think we can go ahead and take a tour now. All right, so going through the front door, we have an issue hmm don't know what happened over here but you know what i'm not really big on fixing things like this because you never see it in gameplay but anyway so over here we have the little dining area we have our yellow kitchen i actually kind of like this kitchen it's something different i suppose then over here at the back we have our little study room yeah like you see i don't paint the ceilings like i just don't care anymore <laughs> um over here we have the little living room area in here we have the main bedroom the beautiful dark green 
flowery bedroom. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, and also plain. It's not just green and flowery. Up there we have the loft opening. Through here we have our bed. And uh, God, I always want to say bedroom when I want to say bathroom. Anyway, here we have our bathroom. Beautiful, beautiful. Nothing much to see there. And over here we have the teen boys bedroom. They could be into sciencey stuff and into music perhaps. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Going up. Stairs. Whoops, that's way too far. We have a little book nook over here. We have a little desk. I don't know, you can just do random work on this desk if you want to. Through here, you can sit and chill. Oh my gosh, this looks so good in first camera. Oh my gosh, or first person cam. Yeah, so you can sit and chillax at the back here. On this side, we also have a little balcony chill area, but you can meditate here as well. If you go around the house, on this side is also a little balcony on which you can sit and chill. And at the back here is the massive water pool. I mean, what else is is it? it it's, it's water. You know, I don't know why I said water pool, but yeah, we have a water pool. <laughs> a little barbecue area and a little place to sit and enjoy whatever you're cooking on that barbecue barbecue over there. But all right, you guys, I know this is, like I said before, a massive difference to what the house used to look like. I was throwing a photo for a comparison, like this is crazy. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one.